What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be reviewing a project. If you've been a follower of my YouTube for a while, you'll know that back in the day I used to do a lot of album, mixtape, EP reviews, but it's not something I've done for a while. A friend of mine, Alake, hit me up, and I hope I'm pronouncing, I'm not sure if it's Alake or Alake, maybe it's a reading accent barrier or something, so forgive me if I've got it wrong. I've got a lot of time for him as an artist, as a person. Very respectful guy, not afraid to put money where it needs to go. Innovative. I'm constantly seeking to go further and get better. And this project that he's brought out is very reflective of his character. I feel like he understands that he's rapping to human beings, right? He, he's rapping to the person who works in the store. He's rapping to the person who's a mechanic. He's rapping to the person who owns the ice cream van. He's not rapping to other rappers. He's not talking about the struggle of the rap game that every other rapper talks about. And just a, a quick tip while we're here, uh, if you're always rapping about what you're going through as a rapper, everyday people don't give a fuck about your struggle as a rapper. As a human being, they just might. And that's why I think he's got the formula right on this project. Because he's talking about the everyday struggles that you and I might go through. And he's done a great job of it. If you're familiar with him, like I'm familiar with Alake and his freestyles he uploads video freestyles to facebook i always share them and i always get a bunch of likes on them you know how it is on facebook sometimes you share something and it won't get any likes but when i share his stuff i always get a good few likes on this but the way the project starts just the way the beat comes in it's kind of like if you're familiar with uk music there's something called grime right and it's 140 bpm and it's faster paced and the tempo of this beat is grime but I wouldn't know to call it a grime track, but all I know is it got my attention. And as soon as I listened to it and I heard him kick in and start rapping, I instantly knew that it wasn't going to be his normal punchline stuff, because when he does his freestyles like I was talking about, it's all punchline, punchline, punchline. But this stuff was very introspective and dealt with a lot of issues that, like I say, you and I face every day. Like, say, for example, on the 9 to 5 track, which he actually has a music video for, which I think you should check out. I'll put a link in the description for that where he's just talking about not wanting to work your job, having to work your job and just wanting to get to that point where you leave, leave your job and you go and chase your passions in life. And that's really the message of this whole thing. It's just life. He's got a track called Vision. He's got a track called Love Game. It just deals with the issues that you think about every day. And he deals with it in such a way and so simply that you will connect with this music. You will understand this music. And he finishes her off with a song called Deathbed, which is... I've been wanting to use this word for a long time. I've been using it, but I've been using it wrong. I, I misunderstood this word before. And the word is poignant. And the word is poignant. And it's a very poignant song. A bit like the way he starts the project. Just in the sense of, well, the first song is called Grateful. So it, it comes from a place of gratitude. It comes from a place of positivity. Get into Deathbed, which is, you know, a poignant song and it deals with regret and you know an uneducated mind might be like this is a negative song but it really is a positive song but with a dark tone to it that'll really make you think so from start to finish it feels like a theme it feels like it's been made on purpose and it doesn't feel like most artists when they just throw i just made five hot tracks let me just put it on something it's not that this has been planned this has been specifically catered to an audience and that audience is very wide. If you're someone living, breathing, working a job, going through turmoils in your love life, going through dealing with your vision and the process and just everything that comes with being a human being, you can 100% relate to this release. So I'd recommend you check it out. I'm gonna put a link in the description along with the link to the music video to his nine to five song. Yeah man, you did a great job on this shit, I can't wait to hear some more, as well as those freestyles you put out too. So hopefully a few of you watching this are going to take it on board, click the links in the description and get to know this guy. Because I promise you, it's the kind of music that's going to make you know that it's not just you going through this shit, you know what I mean? So yeah, don't get mad, get motivated, please like, share, comment, subscribe, click the links in the description to check out his shit. Don't get mad, get motivated. Remember you, will they say you went right through obstacles to achieve your goals or that you stayed working in a company chasing revenue? What contribution are you making? What direction are you going? Real talk.